Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Rinks and welcome to another part of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Now, a lot has happened since my other video. I've actually played a little, but I didn't progress through the story, but I wanted to tell you everything that's been going on. So I filled up my first box and then I kept continuing on. I went to the southern part of the field lands, or not southern part, I think I went east. I went more east and it, there was a little area by the Snorlax. I avoided that Snorlax. And then I was able to catch more Pokemon and I evolved some of my Pokemon. I evolved some of my Eevees I've caught to a Flareon, to an Umbreon. I caught another Eevee and you see two more right here. The last video I mentioned that I wanted an Umbreon but I didn't but I realized that my Oshawa would have turned into a dark type because of the new the new form that he gets. So as much as I would love to use Umbreon, I'm going to switch it out since I already have the dark type covered. Maybe in another playthrough I will use Umbreon. So having said that, one of my other Eevees evolved into a Sylveon. So I thought this would be a perfect time to use a pure fairy type in this playthrough. And then I'm only carrying around this Eevee to evolve it into an Espeon at the moment. And then I caught a Kadabra. And that's what I've had so far. I have two more ideas of what I wanted to go through. But that's what... And also look at the level up I went through. I think it was much higher than the last video. So my Oshawa is definitely ready to evolve. But I didn't want to evolve it until, until this video I wanted to show you guys. So let's go ahead and evolve my boy. Mm. Okay. Let's evolve him. I actually like this feature. Instead of like just pressing B and cancel like I like the idea it lets you choose when to evolve him or her. Let's get down to business. I'll make a man out of you. So now I just evolved my Oshawa into a Duwat or d -Watt. Is it d -Watt or do -Watt? And also I forgot to completely change the names of my Pokemon. I like to nickname my Pokemon. So with Duwat, he will be known as Shimura, which he is a nod to a character in a game that's one of my favorites, Ghost of Shima. I recommend playing it. He is named after Lord Shimura. Now, I'm also going to change the name of my Sylveon into Mercury. And it's a nod to to Freddie Mercury, who is, and if, don't mind me getting personal here for a second, it's because Freddie Mercury was bisexual. And Sylveon, I like to uh, perceive as, like, I love the colors of it, and also, my Sylveon is a boy. So I wanted to give the name Mercury as a kind of a homage to that. Now my Kadabra. The name I'm going to give my Kadabra is Madame Leota. This is a nod to the crystal ball in the Haunted Mansion and the ride and in the uh, Disney movie. Then right now we have our team set up. But I wasn't going to continue on to the story until this video. So let's go ahead and go right to it. Thank God I'm progressing through. I'm fixing to get this wide here very soon. Because I can't take all this running. Oh yeah. My is supposed to be an ancestor of I think the uh, character Clover from the Diamond and Pearl game. I really like the outfit. I like the design and also the pictures that's incorporated with her outfit. It's like, I want to say I do, but not really. Like, I want to be humble, but let's just go with confidence. Let's have herself a little battle. Oh, oh I like my Sylveon. Like, I think Sylveon is like my second favorite evolution right behind Umbreon. The one thing I like about the start of the Legend series, the the potential in the Legend series is exploring the lore of Pokemon, which they never really got to explore. I know we have all these games and there's lore within the games, but they never really talk about it. There was just a lot of speculation and there's things we don't know about. And it's something that we would like to see flushed out in other games if this has become a series again if legends become a series instead of like that third main series game that we always get if that is what we're getting instead i would rather take that because i wouldn't uh, because i don't mind not having a third game of say sword and shield 
for just a couple of new things and that's it. I would rather have a brand new game with a region that was from back in time and it tells a different story expanding the lore of a previous generation that we have explored before because there's still things we don't know about. So it's definitely something that I, I'm hoping that they explore from here on out. <laughs> Oh, my Pokemon can evolve. I wonder if anyone has used a Cricketone. And I don't mean competitively, just in general, like in a playthrough. I don't think, I don't see anything, any harm of doing that. I just wonder if anyone has attempted that. That would be a good challenge to do. That's something I've been wanting to do. A Nuzlocke, if you will, but like, is to provide challenges to myself, like you, like not only just typings, because I've been uh, doing that, I just haven't been recording them. Do all type, but maybe like do only four Pokemon on my team, or like only have one attack move, and then like the rest are like status conditions or those types of moves, like Stealth Rock, Toxic. I don't know, just an idea, dude. Or use unevolved Pokemon, like keep my Eevee or keep it a weasel like i don't know we have four of the evolutions together so i would need to get a jolteon a vaporeon a glaceon and a leafeon so i got four more left and i already have one eevee so i need to catch three more and then i can get all the evolutions together man that is so pretty i love looking at that the sky is very pretty oh oh ooh, let's get out of here oh <laughs> Oh, the little trot it does. The little trot from the tot. <laughs> I will never forget. I don't know if anyone has seen the show Fillmore back in the mid-2000s. It was about a kid who solves uh, cases in his middle school. There was an episode. Oh, this is Geodude about to have beef with me. There was an episode that a woman referenced Geodude. Like, I forgot the saying how it went but she was saying like you want to be like a geo dude and using his pardon attack and i was like as much as that's inaccurate because harden's not going to attack it's just pretty cool that they reference pokemon on a disney show fuck geo dude always looks like a brain to me i don't know why i guess it looks like a brain with two arms with it and not to talk crap about his design but i love when people talk bad about other pokemon designs namely the newer ones because they weren't part of the original 150 but then when you have the original pokemon in question it's like well they there's not really any ground to hold because again you have geodude which is basically a brain with two arms with it just colored gray. It's a rock with arms. Not really groundbreaking. Is that a gibble? I'd never paid attention to that. It looks like a gibble. Like a statue of a gibble. Let's just call it a gibble. I, because I don't want to say like, oh, it's a brand new Pokemon. No, we're not going to do that here. Like going on here reminds me of the, the sound of music. The hills are alive with the sound of music. Oh, I got a Stantler. I mean, I haven't got a wide deer, so I could go with a wide deer as my next one. But then again, it's a psychic typing, so what's the point of me using a psychic when I already have one? And then I just nicknamed one of my Pokemon. And you know how the old saying goes, once you name it, you start getting attached to it. And I won't be able to put that thing back where it came from, or so help me. Pausing for a second, when I first saw this thing years ago when I first played Diamond and Pearl, this thing gave me a nightmare the first night going to bed after playing this game. Because of its sound, that eerie sound, when I first heard it, I'm like, what the fuck is that? Like, it was scaring me. I'm like, what is this? And just so you know, I have a thing about bugs. Not necessarily bugs in general, just I have a fear of gigantic bugs. Like, if I were to see a giant, like, if I see a regular size spider, I'm fine. But if I see a gigantic spider, 
I, I I would die. I would die right then and there. I think what did it was Men in Black. I am not going to show it because I have to edit my videos and I'm not going to relive that trauma. It's the Men in Black. It's the first movie. I'm not going to explain it. If you know what it is, if you know, you know, look it up. I'm not going through that. Also, the mummy with the scarabs, that didn't really help out. And then you had Starship Troopers. And then you have King Kong. i just been mortified by bugs. Which is funny because I love the bug, type, the bug typing. And they've actually vastly improved ever since Gen 4 and up. So it's kind of ironic. In fact, one of my favorite Pokemon is Ga Gavantula. And it's a giant tarantula. And you would think I would be afraid of that thing. But no, I actually like it. Oh, now he's mad. Now he's mad. Oh! <laughs> How are you unaware? You know I just caught you. Caught you with your pants down. Well, you don't really have any pants. You just have two arms. Caught you with your shirt off. But you don't have a body. So would that mean... I caught you with your hat off. Another aspect of this game that I really like, I like the stealth aspect of it because I've always been one for like stealth games like the Arkham series, Metal Gear Solid. I've always considered the second playthrough as the true playthrough because you play through it the first time, you zim through it to know the story, and then now you can fully appreciate the gameplay. Is that a flying Gyarados? And, uh, okay. <laughs> the way it's flying. Oh, no. I don't like to be this type of person. But far away, it did look bad. But now it actually looks pretty natural. Who ha Who's beefing with me? How many times are we going to teach you this lesson, Geodude? The hills are alive with the sound of music. Ooh, I'm not going to be alive on this hill. <laughs> Ooh. Get out of here. Ooh, no, 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 no. I am not going to mess with that big bug. Yeah, of course, me talking about big bugs, and then there's a gigantic big bug right there. He's a big boy. And he does not lie that the other trainers can't deny. My professor? Oh. <laughs> oh, here he comes. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second there. Hold on a second there. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's seen that TikTok. It's that guy like swinging his, waving his finger up, and he's like, "Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second there." <laughs> I gotta record this for my new TikTok. Dilly whoop. Dilly whoop. Reminds me of Patrick from that one episode. Little, 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 little. That's not it. So, a troublemaker? Is he an instigator? Is he Woody Woodpecker? No, he's Woody Cricketone. Er, he's a troublemaker. <laughs> That's that should be its sound instead of de little whoop. It's ha 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 ha. He's a troublemaker. We gotta get rid of him. He's an alpha Pokemon. He has a podcast and everything. He has very bad takes about women. That's what it's gonna be every time I hear this Pokemon. It's just, it's not gonna be its sound. It's gonna be a Woody Woodpecker's laugh now. Fire! Well, that was very anticlimactic. What a distinguished gentleman. I actually like Y-Deer. Y-Deer is a really good design. Sandler, it was already a good design and then it really needed an evolution. Mauling? Again, Pokemon are not safe creatures. They, if given the chance, they will kill you. Mauling. Just say it killed a couple of them. Just go ahead and say it. Or... It cut off some of their limbs. I've seen, I've seen that Pokemon. It has giant axe for arms. Well, he's half right. 
Well, you're half right. Oof. Adaman. Um, hmm. Well, let's just say he's a very nice looking chap. <laughs> Man, he has some sass on him. Crop up. What are these? I do not like those. I do not like those. However, I do like these. Ooh. Seascape. I'm actually going to take that. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay. I like this look a lot. Okay, let's go back into the commander and see what he wants. Maybe he's going to bully those two people. Let's make our grand entrance. Ah, uh, yo. Ooh. I'm siding with him. Can you tell why I'm siding with him? Does it give any guess? Is it my outfit? Hi, Adam, man. I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> Do I even bother go with the uh again? Because, uh, then, like, I don't want to be mauled by some giant bug with giant axe for its arms. Uh, uh. I guess I'll accept. Oh, well, if it isn't Captain Selena. God, I'm like everyone's favorite person. Like, people hated me in the last episode because I wore a strange shirt and some shorts. Now everyone's asking me for their help. Now, he was definitely a character I really liked. Adamant. You know, all jokes aside, because yes, he's very attractive. I love his design, too. I love his color palette. But it's just... I like him as a character. Like, he's a good leader of the Diamond Clan. <laughs> oh! Oh my god! Ah! I don't have any room in my bag! Ah! Oh. <laughs> he just looks so shocked. I look just so so shocked. <gasps> oh! Yeah, sketchy guy. Uh, I guess I could talk to you. Uh... Oh, it's you. Come to stalk me again? Yeah, secret backstrike technique. I didn't record this because I ventured on through by accident. That is a good way. That was a good telling of he was going to backstab you. And again, I apologize. I did say in the previous video I will be speaking in spoilers as I'm playing through this game again. Hmm. Supporting you now is actually an investment in my own fortunes. Come on now. Oh, well, I guess we make our way to the Grand Tree. Let's see if we can catch some new Pokemon too. Making my way downtown, walking fast, not really, I'm going slow. Oh, I need you, and I miss you, and now I want to know, when are you going to come so I can ride you? Uh, you think time would pass me by? Ooh, you do crap. By the way, oh, 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 that's a little punk. Oh, you want to have beef, do you? Let's have some beef. Some beef. What beef. Those things are... Very, very, very aggressive. While with me, I just want to be passive aggressive. I want to passively run away. See, these things just go all out with you. These things are little oh, bullies. It's supposed to be like a cute, innocent little Pokemon, not wanting to kill you at any given chance. You didn't see me? Tippy toss, tippy. Always use your tippy toss. I've never seen scene two yet. I just like that part in the trailer with that monk. I think it was a baboon or something. He's like tippy toss, tippy toss. What is? Oh, just just a peach you, just casually being there. Okay, okay, I'll take that opportunity. Man, they just whew, whew, they just notice you right off the bat. They don't even give you time. There is one reason and one reason only. I wanted to venture through. To the grand tree because there is one pokemon i want to grab from here 
to be on my team. There's one Pokemon I've been looking for around these parts and I see it right in front of me. Yes! Yes, Scyther is going to be the newest member of our team. It's a bug steel type, it's great typing. Well, when it evolves into a scissor. This one I may use. Oh, okay. Ooh. Don't knock it out. Don't knock it out. Okay, good. I'm gonna catch this one. Here's our fourth member, Scyther, which I am going to name it. I want to name it Aranea. And it's going to be homage to Aranea Highwind from Final Fantasy XV. She was one of my favorite characters in the game. Wow, that's so pretty. Moon is going up that fast. But it is very pretty, though. But where is that Pokemon? It's somewhere around here. I guess I should go ahead and say what Pokemon I'm looking for. I'm looking for a Chimchar. Because Chimchar is one of the best starters. Pretty much one of the best well-rounded starters. It has a good typing. It'll cover up anything that I need. I think I'm going to call it here for today. I'm not really having much luck finding Chimchar. But that will definitely be the Pokemon I'm looking for for my current team. So right now it stands for my Sylveon which is Mercury. My Kadabra, who is Madame Leota, my Duat as Shimura, and then my newly acquired Scyther as Aranea. So right now, that's the team, and with the potential one being, with Chimchar being my potential fifth member, and then I'll keep this last one as a secret. And I'm still going to continue on playing off screen, but I'm not going to progress in the story any further. I'm just going to merely be working on my Pokedex entries. So let's wrap up the video. Hit the notification bell to let you know when some more of my videos would come out. Also like, subscribe, share as that will help my channel grow. Also follow me on Instagram and Twitter and uh, come hang out or talk to me for a little bit. Until next time, thank you for talking with me.